Naomi Banks remembers the night she saw the Fab Four for the first time. This was my little corner where I stood beside the drapes that used to hang here. And I looked down in there and I saw the Beatles. It was the band's first real U.S. concert, held in Washington, D.C., just after their massively watched appearance on The Ed Sullivan Show. Today, the concert hall is a cavernous parking lot. The only sound? Raindrops. But on February 11, 1964, it was packed with people. The crowd was screaming and hollering and crying and tears and joy. I screamed like I wanted to because I was not supposed to be in there, I guess. That's right. A then 16-year-old bank snuck in that night. One more time. She lived right across the street and still does. So hundreds of kids waiting to get inside. When that door opened, you know, they just rushed on in. Wherever the Beatles went on that first American tour, they were greeted with mega crowds. 18-year-old Mike Mitchell was there on one of his first assignments as a freelance photographer. And, you know, there was this, I gotta be there. Decades later, his prints are now seen as iconic images. It was like being in the delivery room at the birth of an entire generation and you hear them all screaming at the same time. 35 minutes after the show started, it was over. This week, the sounds that changed a generation will return to this old building with a tribute concert. Banks will walk across the street, just like she did in 1964, but this time with a ticket in hand. And remember a couple of weeks in February when all of America met these boys. Padmananda Rama, The Associated Press.